Attention, please. The Silver Meteor, due to leave at 2.45, will be about 50 minutes late. The track will be announced later. Your train's late, and then you can't get a seat. It's an upper or nothing. What? Club car? No, sir. Sometimes you can't get on at all. Looks like trouble, Henry. Yes, and the congestion is worse than those Pittsburgh yards. We wrote those eastbound freight trains out there. B.J. No B.J. We'll have to route free train 347. No room for train 347 on track 42. Well, hold the chief then. 347 has got to go through. In peacetime, this through express was always on schedule. It whizzed past local trains and freights in disdain. But today, even the express must wait. Because freight train number 347 is carrying American war goods to a waiting convoy at an eastern port, it must get there on time. The engineer of the freight knows he has a long, hard pull ahead of him. If he's going to reach the port with his load of machinery, food, and ammunition in time for the convoy sailing at dawn the next morning, he has the right of way. Trains are controlled from one All central power room, freight and passenger. A troop train is speeding towards the port. It too must reach the convoy to sail at dawn. Even though this means ordinary travelers must wait. 47 is highballing heat. The troop train, too, is speeding through the night. And its engineer has a tough run ahead of him. But his car, full of American soldiers, must reach port by dawn. And the truck with its precious load must get there, even though it means driving all night. We made it, Joe. We made it all.